We are today announcing that Omni County is going to be suing Global. We stood here back in September and we talked about putting a notice, we put uh, Global on notice, that if they didn't act in a timely manner, we were going to sue them. So unfortunately, here we are, and I think Chris, that's what we figured we were going to be here suing them. Because you know what? It's about the quality of life for the residents around the port, but it's the quality of life of all the residents in Omni County that these trains go, the trains go through. But it's about the Clean Air Act. And with the Clean Air Act, we want to make sure people that are breathing in air around these places where at the Port of Albany, where these trains are being loaded and unloaded, that do put toxic chemicals into the atmosphere, carbon monoxide and amongst other ones, that they can breathe healthy like everyone else. And we're not saying the air is bad, but we're saying we want Global to conform to the Clean Air Act. And we're also proposing in this lawsuit that every day that they don't comply with this, they, ha they get fined $37,000 a day. We've been working together with the people at Ezra Prentice Homes and with the Ezra Prentice Homes Tenants Association to try to fight the air pollution coming from the global facility. This case is about environmental justice. It's about environmental justice for the hundreds of families who have to breathe the toxic air pollution from Global's facility on a daily basis. These are children that are living every day with this. It's people, it's human beings. Newborn babies come home and their window is right near. When you open the window to those kids' room, what are you inhaling? And it's about this distance from the train tracks. Now they're talking about a wall. What, 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 Anything goes up, the wall goes up, it's still come over. So, I mean, if Global would just work with us. We asked them um, way back. When this first started, they acted like we were crazy. And I said, well, I just moved down there. And um, since I've been down there, what made me take notice is the increase in trains. And they said, oh, those are, those are freight trains. I said, those are tankers. I told those are tankers. They misled people. This case is about justice for the children who attend Giffen Elementary School, which is located two blocks away from the global facility. And it's about justice for the disabled people who get necessary, needed services at the Center for the Disabled, which is right on the doorstep of the global facility. I give my state of the county next month and part of that is going to be about the comprehensive study of, of how to respond and how do we react to an incident at the port because it's going to happen people. It's going to happen but also working with them on new legislation to really address the safety for the residents but most importantly to look at how we can continue to go after Global and make sure they become a good partner, a partner that wants to work in Albany County not just come here and make a profit and want to come here and work with the people first and foremost, but I want to thank Merton and uh, Norma, thank you, and the people behind me, because they are the real advocates that are out there seven days a week, 365 days a year, and it's always on, you know, we get a lot of great ideas from them, what we've been doing, and uh, I'm glad to be out in front on this.